I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen and another episode and today we are going to make these beautiful cranberry and pecan sweet potato rolls. These are a yeast risen roll and they are filled to the brim with dried cranberries, chopped pecans. They're finished off with a honey and butter glaze. They're just the right amount of sweetness. They're filled with uh, sweet potato for the moisture part and you are going to love them. So let's go see how we make these cranberry pecan sweet potato rolls. Today's video is being brought to you by Alpha Armor Kitchen Classics and in particular their Bamboo Kitchen Scale. This is a digital scale. I'm going to tell you a little more about that later because we're going to be using this um, to portion out our rolls. And I just wanted to let you know that. Thank you very much to Alpha Armor Kitchen Classics for sponsoring today's video. We're going to get started with, I'm just going to go over the ingredients and then I'm going to bring over the mixer and we're going to start putting this all together. What you're going to need to make these cranberry pecan sweet potato rolls, and these can be used as a dinner roll, a breakfast roll, an anytime snack kind of thing. You can choose to put icing on these if you want to, although today I'm not going to. And these would make a fantastic turkey sandwich the day after Thanksgiving, I'm just saying. So you're going to need, I have two cups of mashed sweet potatoes here. You can bake off or cook off a couple of sweet potatoes and mash them until they're smooth. I'm going to be honest with you, and I used a can of sweet potatoes. I drain them and I mash them and it exactly is two cups. And then I'm using a half a cup of whole milk and a quarter of a cup of butter that have been melted together. Actually the milk was in there and then I just poured the melted butter in there with it. Two eggs, a quarter of a cup of sugar, a tablespoon and a half of instant yeast, a quarter of a cup of orange marmalade, a teaspoon of salt, and I have a teaspoon of pumpkin seasoning, but the recipe is going to reflect the proper um, measurements for the individual spices if you don't have access to pumpkin seasoning where you live. We're also going to put in here a half a cup of chopped pecans and a half a cup of dried cranberries. That's not a lot of ingredients, oh yeah, and all-purpose flour. So that's really not a lot of ingredients to make a spectacular roll. I mean, I, that's one of the reasons I love bread. You don't need a lot of ingredients, but you can make the bread as elaborate or as simple as you like. So that's a real plus for me. All right, we've got everything together, and now we're just going to start putting things in our mixer. Our milk and our butter go in. Our sweet potatoes go in. The orange marmalade. A half, that's a quarter of a cup of um, sugar granulated. There goes our yeast. And then we're going to just give this a quick stir. I'm going to drop my eggs in here. And stir it again. Now I'm going to start adding some flour. I'm going to add about half of the flour now. And I'm going to put my collar on, my lid, and take this part off. And I'm going to mix it on low. I'm going to go ahead and add my salt and my pumpkin pie spice. until it pulls away from the sides. And that'll do it. I'm going to turn my mixer up to speed two. And now I'm going to let this knead for five minutes. Today is really humid where I live, so I just wanted to come back and say after it started mixing a little, I realized that it really wasn't binding up as much as I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little more all-purpose flour here. We'll start with about a half a cup. And that probably did it. All right. Again, we're going to turn it up to two, and we're going to let it knead for five minutes. Yeah. First, we're going to add the cranberries and the pecans. They really need to go in there when it's being kneaded. Alright, you can see the total difference in the dough after it has 
um, needed the proper amount of time because it's nice and elastic. Now this dough is going to be a slight bit sticky, so don't be alarmed, all right? It's all going to be good because these have a bit more sugar and a bit more moisture in them. Now we're going to talk about what happens to the dough. Because um, my mixer um, needs very efficiently, I do not need to do, uh, technically, I don't need to do two rises. I can just go ahead and form this dough into rolls, put it in a pan, and then bake it off. Well, it, has to rise, it has to rise one time after it's formed. But if you do not have this type of mixer, which is the Bosch Universal Plus, you need to put this dough in an oiled bowl and then you need to let it rise for an hour or until it is doubled in size, okay? So if you don't have this kind of mixer, then you'll just know that you need to, you need to have an extra step. It's a beautiful dough. You see, you'll notice that I didn't put any flour on my board and I don't recommend that you do either because the flour that's in the dough has already been built, the gluten in it has already been built up to the proper place. Adding raw flour to this dough is going to make it tough because you will have added undeveloped gluten into this dough. So it's going to cause a problem. I know a lot of people add flour on their board when really all you need to do is a light spray of oil and it's all good. Now, we're going to bring this scale over here. I want you to divide your dough into um, 24 pieces. Now we're going to talk about the scale for a minute because we're going to use the scale to divide the dough. This is the Alpha Armor Kitchen Classics Bamboo Scale. This um, is your typical kitchen scale and I will tell you this thing is super sensitive. You don't like have to push on it. All you have to do is tap it and it automatically comes on. Absolutely gorgeous. You also have the option of having a metric or an imperial uh, measurement of weight. And since I'm going to be going ahead and uh, I'm zeroing out my scale. Now the other good thing that I wanted to tell you is this is uh, antibacterial bamboo is antibacterial naturally. So bacteria is not going to grow in, on this scale if you should get something on the surface. I always try and use something um, on top of the scale and then I zero it out. So I'm going to go ahead and divide my rolls into, I'm going to divide 24 rolls up and I want like three ounce rolls. You get the picture. So there's your three ounce roll. It's about the size uh, of a golf ball, really. That's about mm, where you want it. It's a little bit larger than a... Is it? I didn't remember I played racquetball, so I don't know. And then you're just going to put it down on the board and cup your hand thusly and then gently roll that piece of dough around in your hand until it smooths out and the bottom looks like that. And you just set it aside. You need to have two 9 by 13 baking pans that you're going to spray with vegetable oil spray and get ready to receive the, the rolls once you get them all formed and shaped. And we'll be back when that's ready. Okay, these have been sitting here for about 45 minutes and it's time to put them in the oven. Now the one thing that I always do is I always set my oven to preheat while I'm rising bread or any kind of dough because the warmth from the preheating process is going to speed up the rising. So that's one thing I always, always do. So into the oven. Come on, Maggie. These are going to bake for 20 to 25 minutes until the tops are golden brown and they sound hollow when tapped. I'll bring you back when it's time to take them out. While our uh, rolls are in the oven, I wanted to just go over a couple of the features of this Alpha Armor uh, kitchen scale. This bamboo scale I think is really stylish and beautiful. I, it is pure bamboo on the top. Did you know that bamboo is totally resistant to bacteria? I did not know that. It's very simple to use. We feature, we went over the, how to use the tear button. It has four different, you can do grams, ounces, pounds and kilograms on here. You can get this on Amazon. So that's a plus. The other great part is this comes with the battery so it's ready to go. You need to put the battery in it. It's not um, 
it's not installed, so you'll have to do that. And it looks nice. I think it does looks very, very nice. So and it's durable. Bamboo is durable. It had they have a 90-day hassle-free money-back guarantee as well. And like I said, this is obtainable through Amazon. I'll put a link down below if you're interested. I think this makes a great gift. Christmas is coming, holidays are on the way. Um, if you have people on your list who really love kitchen gadgets, maybe you know somebody who's gonna you know, they've made it a goal to get healthier in the new year. And a uh, kitchen scale is the perfect way to do that. Um, because weighing things is really important. Even if you're a bread baker, I think that weighing things is super important. Um, most professional pastry chefs and bakers, they do not use cups for flour. They actually measure everything. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So I'll leave the link below if you're interested in having a look at this Alpha Armor Bamboo Kitchen Scale. Let's go check our rolls and see if they're ready. All right, time's up. And these are ready to come out of the oven. They smell incredible. And I can't wait to try one. Okay, we pop the um, turn oven off. And then, as if these weren't beautiful enough already, you could just, you know, brush these with some melted butter. But, you know. Let's gild the lily a little. What I've taken is a quarter of a cup of honey and a quarter of a cup of butter, and I've melted them together. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to brush this honey and butter mixture all over these warm rolls. And you want to do this right when they come out of the oven so that the butter will absorb in there and the honey's going to sink in, and it's going to give these a beautiful glaze. All right. So we're going to let these sit for a while, and I'll be back. This is what happens when you turn your back and the rolls are starting to cool. You end up with less rolls, right? No, truthfully, we all tried them. <laughs> They're really, really good. So I'm just going to... Huh? They are. They are. I'm going to put one over here for you. They're really soft. And they're beautiful on the inside. Look at that crumb. Absolutely incredible. And then you put a little butter on there. You know, mm -hmm. you want to take one for the team, honey? I have to. Mm. They're so good. Mm -hmm. mm. They're really good. I think these these are going to be great for breakfast. Like I said, you can make a great turkey sandwich on this. Or just to eat. I mean, you don't even have to put butter on them. They're that good. Mm -hmm. So I hope you give these cranberry pecan sweet potato rolls a try. I hope... If you are interested in this really beautiful bamboo kitchen scale by Alpha Armor Kitchens, um, Kitchen Designs, I hope that you will check out the link below and see what it's all about. Um, thank you goes out to Alpha Armor for sponsoring today's video. I hope that you give these rolls a try and I hope that you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya! joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watch today and I hope that you try it and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber.